right, guys, welcome to another episode of What Makes This Scene Perfect. I am your host, JT. <laughs> of course, you know that. So, House of a Thousand Corpses. Say what you will about Rob Zombie. I think he, he went way downhill after Halloween, the Halloween movies. Very, very sad because I saw this movie when it came out in 2003. I saw it maybe like two, three years later. I remember it was coming out and I was excited for it. Then I kept forgetting it was coming out. Totally forgot that it came out. I then saw it in college, my first semester of college with like a group of friends. Long story, but we watched it several times in the mind state you shouldn't. <laughs> Had no idea what was going on. And then we finally watched it semi-normal. And we were like, dude, this movie's the shit. And I still, just for nostalgia alone, I adore this film. I think The Devil's Rejects is his best film. I think it's a better film than this. But this is my favorite. Like, and it always will be. Lords of Salem is was ambitious. He tried some unique things there, but it doesn't really work for me. It doesn't stick. 31 is awful. Didn't like that at all. I haven't seen the monsters, so I can't comment, but I've heard mixed things as usual with him. Uh, Halloween is decent. H2, I love. Fuck you. <laughs> it's an uncommon opinion, I know, but I, I love H2. I think it, it's a brutal, awesome slasher film, but whatever. And what else has he done? That's it, right? Probably have one more that'll come to me, whatever, but it's not worth remembering. So, oh, Three from Hell, which it should have been made a decade earlier, like, is the, the first of its problems, but whatever. We won't get into that. But this whole scene in this movie, the, like, the third time I saw it, like, the first, like, real, like, sober time. <laughs> This is the scene that made me say to myself that this is fucking great. Like, this is fucking a great horror film so far. And, like, this scene is fucking amazing. And Rob Zombie might be able to, like, make some great movies. And he did. Like, at least this one and the next one for me. And H2. But it's the whole scene when the sheriff, uh, White, when Sheriff Wydell and his partner and Denise's father show up to the Firefly house. And we get that long scene in slow motion set to Slim Whitman in I Remember You. And just the whole way that it's shot, the, way, the music choice alone is brilliant. And just like everything, every fucked up thing that we see in slow motion and just like, the horrors that these people see and just it's it's so well choreographed it's so well executed and it's damn effective like it really is i adore this scene and i think it's a perfect scene so let's see why this scene is perfect see now i always say you ever come across a house that has a whole bunch of dolls or decapitated dolls or doll heads nailed to them like, nailed to the door or the outside of the house. You fucking never go to a house like that, first of all. So, don't ever do that. But that's what they're doing. They're knocking on the door. And then Karen Black is awesome. Like, as always. And, God, I love Bill Mosley so much. I just did a video recently on uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. And I love Chop Top. Like, ah, oh, I love Bill Mosley. And uh, then, as... Sheriff Wydell is too trusting, as um, his brother says in The Devil's Rejects. But he knocks on the door, and Mother Firefly lets him in. And I love the way she says, like, her first words. They're like, oh, hello, officer. Like, she's so fake-sounding. <laughs> and, like, you could tell, like, she knows that she's putting an act on. But, like, it's so obvious, and I, I love that. And then the deputy and the, uh, Denise's father hear the noise in the shed. 
and they open it and the music ding, 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 kicks in and what they see in there man and then back to Karen Black and her being like, I think I can trust you being a man of the law. And then he comes in to talk to her and that's when they bust it open and they just see uh, Mary in there, like in her panties and stuff. And then they see naked people, that naked women that have been dead for who knows how long all over the tables in there, chained up in this, like up to the ceiling absolutely gruesome man so much so that the deputy starts puking right then and there like can you imagine the stench could you imagine the smell just the smell alone let alone everything else that you, you, you what your eyes are trying to take in what you're trying to process what jesus christ uh, then he goes to call wydell and wydell stupidly i mean he turn he lets his eye off of this woman Goes to look on the walkie-talkie, talk to walkie-talkie, and boom, gets shot right through the fucking, right through his, uh, I, think, I always forget if it's his head or if it's his neck. I think it's his neck, but whatever. He's dead, is the fucking point. And then just, the music is so perfect for this scene. It's not even funny. Like, Rob Zombie does have a great, what's the word I'm looking for? He does have a good talent for picking the right soundtrack for a scene, the right song for a scene, or like his soundtracks for a lot of his movies in general are very good. And then we see Otis come out with the cowboy hat and he's fucking, and I, it's sad, man, but I love how when uh, Denise's father gets shot, you see like memories of him and Denise and his wife and stuff, I guess who's dead, but like, Pass from like right in front of his eyes, and you see that quick little flashback. That's sad, but it's very effective. Uh, then when he just gets on his knees, the deputy and Otis just puts his gun up against him. Uh, then he holds it for so long, <laughs> like he real like this. It's so drawn out to the level of just like it's right when it gets close to when he finally pulls the trigger you're saying like all right like please just do it already like we know it's going to happen and uh, then he do he pulls the trigger and it just and it's like he falls to the ground and then the birds like fly out of the sky out of the trees into the sky awesome like perfect scene for me and what really made me think for the first time that zombie has made a great film so far here and can make other even maybe even better ones and he did in my opinion with devil's rejects but all right guys i will see you at the stream in a half hour for frank and hooker with dave and sean so wherever you're from hoping you're having a good night or day and i will talk to you soon take care everybody